you are listening Goldilocks and the Three Bears featuring our guest storyteller actress Gabriel Del Rio a podcast audio exclusive let's roll it now This episode is brought to you by Anna's House Shelter an organization who fights against domestic violence Once upon a time there were three bears who lived together in a house of their own in the woods. One of them was a little wee bear and one was a middle-sized bear and the other was a great big bear. They each had a bowl for their porridge, a little bowl for the little wee bear, a middle-sized bowl for the middle-sized bear, and a great bowl for the great big bear. And they each had a chair to sit in. a little chair for the little wee bear and a middle-sized chair for the middle-sized bear and a great chair for the great big bear and each of them had a bed to sleep in a little bed for the little wee bear a middle-sized bed for the middle-sized bear and a great big bed for the great big bear One day after they had made the porridge for their breakfast, poured it into their porridge bowls, they walked out into the woods while the porridge was cooling. They might not burn their mouths by beginning too soon, for they were polite, well-brought-up bears. And while they were a little way, a little girl called Goldie Locks, who lived at the other side of the woods, sent on an errand by her mother passed by the house and looked in at the window and then she peeped in at the keyhole for she was not at all a well brought up little girl then seeing nobody in the house she lifted the latch the door was not fastened because the bears were good bears who did nobody any harm and never suspected that anybody would harm them so goldilocks opened the door and went in and well pleased was she when she saw the porridge on the table if she had been a well brought up little girl she would have waited till the bears came home and then perhaps they would have asked her to breakfast for they were good bears a little rough or so as the manner of bears is but for all that very good natured and hospitable but she was an impudent rude little girl and so she set about helping herself First, she tasted the porridge of the great big bear, and that was too hot for her. Next, she tasted the porridge of the middle-sized bear, but that was too cold for her. And then she went to the porridge of the little wee bear and tasted it, and that was neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. And she liked it so well that she ate it all up, every bit. Then Goldilocks who was tired for she had been catching butterflies instead of running on her errand sat down in the chair of the great big bear but that was too hard for her Then she sat down in the chair of the middle-sized bear and that was too soft for her But then she sat down in the chair of the little wee bear that was neither too hard nor too soft but just right So she seated herself in it And there she sat till the bottom of the chair came out and down she came plump upon the ground. Oh no. Hey. And that made her very cross for she was a bad-tempered little girl. Now being determined to rest, Goldilocks went upstairs into the bedchamber in which the three bears slept. And first she lay down upon the bed of the great big bear, but that was too high at the head for her. Next, she lay down upon the bed of the middle-sized bear, and that was too high at the foot for her. And then she lay down on the bed of the little wee bear, and that was neither too high in the head nor too high at the foot, but just right. So she covered herself up comfortably and lay there till she fell fast asleep. By this time, the three bears 
thought their porridge would be cool enough for them to eat it properly, so they came home to breakfast. Now careless Goldilocks had left the spoon of the great big bear standing at the porridge. Somebody has been at my porridge, <laughs> said the great big bear in his great gruff gruff voice. Then the middle sized bear looked at his porridge and saw the spoon was standing in it too. Somebody has been at my porridge and has eaten it all up, <laughs> said the little wee sized bear. Somebody has been at my porridge. <laughs> said the middle-sized bear in the middle-sized voice. Then the little wee bear looked at his, and there was the spoon in the porridge bowl, but the porridge was all gone. <laughs> Upon this, the three bears, seeing that someone had entered their house and eaten the little wee bear's breakfast, began to look about them. Now the careless Goldilocks had not put the hard cushion straight when she rose from the chair of the great big bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the great big bear in his great gruff gruff voice. And the careless Goldilocks had squatted down the soft cushion of the middle-sized bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said the middle-sized bear in his middle-sized voice. Somebody has been sitting in my chair and has sat the bottom through. Then the three bears thought they had better make further search in case it was a burglar, so they went upstairs into their bedchamber. Somebody has been living in my bed, and here she is still, said the little wee bear in his little wee voice. Now Goldilocks had heard in her sleep the great rough gruff voice of the great big bear. But she was so fast asleep that it was no more to her than the roaring of the wind or the grumbling of the thunder. And she had heard the middle-sized voice of the middle-sized bear, but it was only as if she heard someone speaking in a dream. But when she heard the little wee voice of the little wee bear, it was so sharp and so shrill that it awakened her at once. Up she started, and when she saw the three bears on one side of the bed, one side of the bed, she tumbled herself out at the other and ran to the window. The naughty, frightened little Goldilocks jumped. And whether she broke her neck in the fall or ran into the woods when she was lost there or found her way out of the woods and got whipped for being a bad girl and playing trot, no one can say. But the three bears never saw any more of her. The end. This was Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Thank you so much for listening. Goldilocks and the Three Bears featuring actress Gabrielle Del Rio as our guest today. If you like the episode, make sure you review and rate it. Now ratings are available on Spotify, so you can rate us on Spotify. You can put your ratings and reviews on Apple Podcasts too. Your ratings and reviews are really valuable. Thank you so much for listening. Connect with us on Instagram and Twitter. We are by the name at the rate podcast audios. Waiting for you. See you there. This episode was brought to you by Anna's House Shelter, a program providing women facing hardships with a safe and productive environment to get back on track to financial, mental and physical wellness. An organization who fights against domestic violence. Visit www.awayoutproject.org for more.